So we're picking up this game in the top of the seventh inning. It's a 2-2 tie. Chris Archer is on the mound. He has thrown six innings of five-hit, two-run baseball with five strikeouts. Archer is going to face Corey Seager here in the top of the seventh inning. It is raining here in Chicago. The wind blowing out to left at 9 MPH, and it did help a Miguel Amaya home run, which just barely cleared the basket in order to tie up this ball game in the fifth inning. Archer is facing Corey Seager here in the top of the seventh inning. With a 1-1 count, here is the pitch. There's a pop-up to left. Ryan Braun chasing toward the line. He'll make the catch for out number one. Will Smith is next up with Archer facing Smith. One out, nobody on. Here's a one and two count. Archer delivering. Popped up on the right side this time. And Rizzo in foul territory makes the catch for out number two. Chris Taylor now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Archer working with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. Archer gets the strikeout to end the inning. We go to the bottom of the seventh of a 2-2 tie. And for our seventh inning stretch today, our guest conductor is going to be Paul McCartney. Ryan Braun now stepping up to the plate for the Cubs in the bottom of the seventh inning. We have a 2-2 tie. David Price still on the mound for the Dodgers. The pitcher spot is due up fourth. I believe we're going to warm up a reliever in the off chance that Mr. Archer's spot would come up this inning. We are going to warm up. Let's see here. So it's going to be a righty and then the pitcher's spot and then another righty coming up in the next half inning, which means that the logical choice would be Liam Hendricks to warm up out of the bullpen. And that way he can face some of those righties in the Dodgers lineup. So bottom of the seventh, <clears throat> excuse me, David Price on the mound facing Ryan Braun. Here's the two strike count and the pitch to Braun and the pop up to center field. Coming in is the center fielder Bellinger. He makes the catch for out number one. Danny Santana now the batter with one out, nobody on. Santana facing Price with one ball count. Here comes the pitch from Price. There's a liner into the gap in left center field. Santana's going to have extra bases. Rounding first, heading for second. He is going to have a stand-up double with one out here in the bottom of the seventh inning. So Santana in scoring position as the Cubs try to break open this ball game. Miguel Amaya now the batter. Santana in scoring position, one out in the bottom of the seventh. Amaya facing Price. He hit a home run his last time up. Here's the one and two count and the pitch to Amaya. And there's a grounder up the middle. That's going to get into center field for a base hit. Santana rounding third, heading home. The throw comes home. The slide, and he is safe. And the Cubs now have a three to two lead. Miguel Amaya with the RBI single in the bottom of the seventh inning, giving the Cubs the lead. So now Chris Archer is the batter, and we're going to see a pinch hitter which is going to be Nico Horner. No, you know what? It's going to be Wilson Ramos. I like the idea of sending Ramos up right here. So Ramos is coming up to face Price in the bottom of the seventh with one out and a runner on first. And additionally, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, no, we're just going to let Ramos, gosh, I really like the idea of pinch hitting for or pinch running for a mile over there on first. I'd like to see another run come around and score if there's any way that's possible. So let's get Malik Smith out here on the base paths. He is going to pinch run for Miguel Amaya. Now, Price is pretty good at holding runners, and Smith is pretty good at throwing out runners. I don't know we're going to try to steal right away. But Ramos is going to be the batter with one out and the runner on first here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Here is the 2-2 count and the pit, and he is hit. So Wilson Ramos takes the hit by pitch, and now the Cubs have first and second with one out. Thyro Estrada is the next batter. Gosh, Ramos is so slow over at first base. I would love to do a double steal, but I think they'd just throw it down to second and gun down Ramos. That's almost a guarantee. So here with one out, runners on first and second in the bottom of the seventh inning. 
Cubs looking for some insurance runs. Price facing Estrada. First pitch. Grounder towards second. The throw goes to second, and it's thrown away. Everybody's going to be safe as the ball rolls away, and suddenly the Cubs have the bases loaded with one out. And now Carlos Correa is the batter. Bottom of the seventh inning. Cubs already up by one, looking to add to the lead. Price working with a one-ball count. And there's a liner in the right center field. That is going to drive in some runs. One run is in. Two runs are in. Three runs are going to score. The slide, and he is safe. That is a bases-clearing RBI double for Carlos Correa, and the Cubs suddenly have a 6-2 lead over the Dodgers here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Isaac Paradas now is the batter. He's one for two today. And he's going to face the Dodger reliever, Sean Doolittle. Doolittle has thrown 11 innings, five hits, no runs, no walks, and 13 strikeouts with an ERA of exactly zero. Paradas, for his part, looking to drive in another run for the Cubs here in the bottom of the seventh inning with one out and one man on. Here's the two-strike count and the pitch to Paradas. Grounder toward third. The throw goes over to first, and that is going to be out number two. And now Anthony Rizzo, the batter, with two outs and the runner on second. Doolittle facing Rizzo. Here's the two and one count. Doolittle with the pitch. Liner into center field. That's another base hit. Rounding third and heading home is the runner. He slides, and he is safe. Anthony Rizzo with an RBI single, and the Cubs now have a 7-2 lead. And now George Springer, the batter, with two outs and the runner on second. Doolittle facing Springer here in the bottom of the seventh inning. One and one is the count. Springer pops it up on the infield. Foul territory. Third baseman, Giorco goes over and makes the catch to end the inning. The Cubs, however, score five times, taking a 7-2 lead into the top of the eighth inning. And now we are going to see some defensive changes made in this half inning. Wilson Ramos is going to stay in. He is going to catch. <clears throat> Excuse me. Malik Smith is going to stay in the game. He is actually going to stay in and play left field as a defensive sub for Ryan Braun. We're going to put Liam Hendricks in. He's actually, the pitcher spot is going to lead off next inning. And Hendricks is just going to be asked to throw one inning and then immediately be pinch hit for. We are also going to warm up the lefty Blake Taylor in the event that we get around to Max Muncy this inning. Now, Giorco facing Hendricks here in the top of the eighth. Hendricks has thrown 12 and two thirds innings, walked two, struck out 15, and has an ERA of 213. Hendricks working with a five run lead in the top of the eighth inning. Here's a two, two count. And Hendricks looking to deliver the pitch. Strike three is called. Hendricks strikes him out with the fastball at 96. And now Mookie Betts is the batter. He's coming off the bench to pinch hit for the pitcher spot. The righty Betts facing the righty Hendricks. With a full count. Top of the eighth inning. And there's a liner up the middle. That is a base hit. So Betts gets the one out single. And now Hendricks will face Pollock with one out in the top of the eighth inning. Betts on first, one and two the count. Here comes the pitch. Check swing, strike three. Hendricks gets him on the check swing with a fastball at 95, and that brings up Max Muncy. And now we are actually going to see another defensive switch because I'm going to bring in the lefty to face the lefty Muncy. So here's how this is going to work. Blake Taylor is going to come into pitch. However, he is going to come into the number two spot for Isaac Paradas. And he is going to pitch. And Eri Adrianza, yes, is going to actually lead off and pinch hit. Well, he's going to come in to play third on the double switch and he's gonna lead off the next half inning. So now, Taylor comes out of the bullpen. He has thrown 13 innings, walked four, struck out 15 with a 138 ERA. He's gonna face the 
Dodgers' Max Muncy in the top of the eighth inning with two outs and the runner on first. Taylor working with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch. And there's a check swing, strike three. That'll end the inning. So Taylor gets the job done. The Cubs keep the five-run lead going into the bottom of the eighth. And now Adrianza leading off against Brandon Brennan, who comes in out of the Dodger bullpen. Brennan has thrown 16 innings, walked seven, struck out 18 with a 5.63 ERA. So Adrianza leading off for the Cubs here in the bottom of the eighth. Here's a full count. Adrianza waiting for the pitch. And ball four, Adrianza draws the walk. He heads down to first, and it brings up Danny Santana. Santana's one for three. He's batting from the left side for the first time today. Facing Brandon Brennan here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Full count, and he draws the walk. So two straight walks for the Cubs puts runners on first and second in the bottom of the eighth inning. Malik Smith now the batter. Smith facing Brennan with nobody out. Runners on first and second. Here's the 1-1 count and the pitch to Malik Smith. And he's going to line that one in the center field. That's a base hit. The runner's going to stop at third. And the Cubs now have the bases loaded with nobody out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Wilson Ramos is the next batter. With the bases loaded facing Brandon Brennan. Here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Brennan working first pitch and Ramos lines that one in center field for another base hit the runners had to pause they thought it was going to be caught but it just cleared the head of the shortstop to make it into center field so now RBI single for Ramos makes this an 8-2 to two ball game and Thyro Estrada is the next batter he is going to face Brennan with nobody out the base is still loaded here's a two ball count and the pitch there's a grounder towards short. The throw to second, the relay to first. That'll be a 6-4-3 double play. And the next run does score. So the RBI is not credited because it was a double play. However, the Cubs now have a 9-2 lead, scoring their second run of the inning. Carlos Correa comes up now. He is 2-4 for four with three RBIs. He had the big hit in the seventh inning. So Malik Smith on third, two outs. And here is the first pitch, and Correa grounds it over to first. Picked up by Muncy, he steps on the base, which ends the inning. So the Cubs score two more times and take a seven-run lead into the top of the ninth inning. And Blake Taylor is going to be asked to close out this ball game. He's going to face the three, four, and five batters in the Dodgers lineup in the top of the ninth. Taylor working with a two-strike count. Here is the pitch, and strike three is called. So Taylor gets the strikeout on Bellinger to lead off the inning. Next up, Gavin Lux with one out, nobody on. Taylor facing Lux with a 2-2 count. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. So that's a curveball and it's second strike out of the inning. And now Taylor facing Corey Seager with two outs and nobody on. Here is the first pitch to Corey Seager. And that'll be a drive into right field. Santana chasing, he will make the catch to end the inning. So the Cubs are victorious 9-2 in this ballgame. The Cubs, Chris Archer getting the win. He goes to 3-1. He threw seven innings of five-hit, two-run baseball with no walks and six strikeouts. The Dodgers' David Price drops to 1-2. and two. He threw six and a third innings, seven hits, seven runs, only five were earned, two walks and two... No, no walks, two home runs allowed, and five strikeouts. So the player of today's game is the Cubs' Chris Archer, and rightly so. However, an honorable mention definitely deserves to go to Carlos Correa, who went two for five with a run scored, three RBIs. Springer and Amaya each hit a home run in today's game. But the Correa bases clearing double is definitely what put this game away for the Cubs. So the Cubs improved to 18-11 as the Dodgers lose for only the sixth time this season, dropping to 24-6. Thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.